Hi, my name is Krista Germano. I'm the Senior Marketing Communications Manager for AWS Worldwide Public Sector, and I'm joined here today with Mike Davis. Mike Davis is a Storage Business Development Manager for AWS. Thanks for coming. It's great to be here, thanks. And the topic we're gonna to talk about today is digital preservation and archiving. So let's get started. Oftentimes when we think about storage, we think about backup and recovery, but where does archiving and digital preservation fit in? Right, great question. Archiving and digital preservation, there's really three main differences from traditional backup. Uh, the first might be that these assets or these files, this data has really intrinsic value to these institutions. It's not just there for disaster recovery. And so these, the value could be in the form of historical value. It could be in the form of even the licensing value. It could be revenue generating digital assets. Another main difference from backup is that these assets are retained in some cases for very long periods of time. Uh, our customer, the National Archives, has a policy that they will retain these assets for the life of the republic. Uh, and imagine uh, how long that is. Um, and um, uh, thirdly, uh, this is a primary storage. These are not secondary copies of the assets. Uh, and so they're very concerned about durability uh, in the infrastructure. And with the evolving technology space with cloud computing, what does that mean for the role of the archivist? Well, it's a, um, there are a lot of things that have been changing over the last few years. In particular, um, uh, digital has really become central, central part of the archivist's job. Even the archivists that come from the library space or, or managing physical museums, digital is now so important to them because the number of artifacts that can be collected and shared and viewed uh, uh, by the stakeholders uh, really proliferates uh, at that point. Um, now, there's a lot of interesting challenges here. One of the challenges is um, managing IT infrastructure. Um, digital preservationists shouldn't have to worry about being IT uh, uh, leaders, and they shouldn't have to worry about the scalability challenges of this sort of uh, these born digital data streams and so forth. Another challenge that they have when the number of digital assets really proliferates is a challenge around uh, taxonomy and search. How do I find something when now I'm managing a hundred million assets in my collection? And so it becomes so important to, to manage metadata and to create as much context around these assets as you can. So you mentioned some of the challenges. How does AWS help with archiving and digital preservation? Sure. Uh, AWS uh, is working with a lot of these customers right now, moving their collections into, into our infrastructure. And a lot of times it's coming from, for example, tape-based archives, which have lots of management challenges, scalability challenges, quality and durability challenge, challenges. And that data often is coming in uh, through our S3 API and eventually landing in Glacier. And uh, what we're able to provide to these customers is so much better scalability, and we take a lot of the, the risks and the, and the operational challenges off the table when they move their assets into us. But one of the most important things, the thing we see recurring again and again, is these customers are seeing the ability to extract more value from their assets uh, and to create richer context and metadata here using AWS analytics capabilities. And so a lot of times when we approach these customers, we start with the conversation about what you can do with your assets once they're in the cloud using automatic transcription, uh, transcribing uh, uh, speech to text, uh, uh, facial recognition, and these kinds of capabilities to allow them to do better job as archivists and provide a richer experience for their end users who are getting access to these assets. And can you share a couple customer examples from public sector of how they're using the AWS cloud for archiving and digital preservation? Sure. In fact, I just came over from a conference led by the White House Historical Association, who is a, a, a big customer of ours. Um, a much larger public sector customer would be the National Archives. They're working with us on uh, these workflows and, and these archival uh, uh, solutions. Uh, another example in the public sector in a slightly different space is, is NASA. And you can imagine across the science community, the need to retain lots of data for decades and decades for historical analysis, uh, for example, for climate change. And these, these researchers are very keen to properly archive and manage. Um, and what's great in my role is I can see these patterns repeat in other areas like the commercial uh, sectors. Uh, Fox Pictures, for example, is doing archival on us. And you can imagine the film studios with deep and rich archives uh, having some of the same problems. 
um, as well as broadcasters like Turner Broadcasting. So uh, we, we've been very successful in this space uh, because of the value proposition we've been able to offer both at the storage layer as well as in analytics and insight and context for around metadata. All right, thanks Mike for sharing a little bit about digital preservation and archiving, and thank you all for joining us. If you have more questions, you can follow up with us on Twitter at AWS underscore gov.